स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन द नेक्स्ट फिजिक्स लेक्चर दिस इज द वीडियो नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन वी हैव टू सी हियर द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री काइंडिक थियोरी ऑफ गैसेस एंड द रेडिएशन नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी हैव टू सी हियर द सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स एंड द लॉज इन दैट चैप्टर इन दिस रेडिएशन टॉपिक देर आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स दैट इज द इमिश्यू पावर emissivity also called as the coefficient of emission then there are the two laws wien's displacement law stefan's boltzmann law these are the as for in your objective or also in one marks or the two marks therefore this is very important now you understand this well first we have to say here the emissive power this is denoted by the letter e or capital r because this is the radiant energy therefore we also denote e or the capital r the emissive power is defined as the quantity of radiant heat energy emitted per its time per its surface area of a body at a given temperature is called as a emissive power denoted by the letter e or the capital r and this is nothing but r is equal to q upon a that is the surface area and t that is the time interval emissive power is nothing but what the quantity of radiant heat energy emitted per its time per its surface area of a body at given temperature is known as the emissive power and the emissive power r that is also radiant heat energy therefore r is equal to q upon a into t q is the amount of heat a is the surface area and t is the time interval then the dimension of that emissive power from this formula r is equal to q upon a into t the dimension of the emissive power sometime it's you have to ask the dimension of emissive power d dash then this dimensions are l0 m1 and t raised to minus 3 this is the dimension of the emissive power by using this formula you know this dimension topic in 11 standard by then the si unit of emissive power is also joule per meter square per second instead of per we have to write here m raised to minus 2 s raised to minus 1 or watt per meter square this is the si unit of the emissive power then next term is the emissivity or which is also called as the coefficient of emission and which is denoted by the letter small e what is mean by the emissivity or the coefficient of emission this emissivity or the coefficient of emission this is the ratio of the two quantities then it is defined as the ratio of radiant heat energy emitted per unit time per unit surface area of a body at given temperature up to that this is the definition of the emissive power and to the radiant heat energy emitted per its time per its surface area of a perfectly black body this is the normal body to the perfectly black body at the same temperature is known as the emissivity or the coefficient of emission denoted by the letter small e that is small e is equal to this capital r upon rb and b for the perfectly black body again you have to see the de definition of the emissivity it is defined as it is the ratio of radiant heat energy emitted per its time per its surface area of a body at a given temperature to the radiant heat energy emitted per its time per its surface area but what perfectly black body at the same temperature this is nothing but the emissivity or the coefficient of emission denoted by the letter small e and small e is equal to capital r upon capital rb you know this this e is nothing but small e is equal to capital r that is the emissive power and this rb this is nothing but also emissive power but perfectly black body that means simply in short we have to say here this emiss emissivity is nothing but what it is the ratio of emissive power and emissive power of the perfectly black body this is nothing but the this emissivity or coefficient of emission 
both these terms are the very important in your next point we have to see uh, the state and explain or state and prove the Kirchhoff's law then we have to prove there the a is equal to e small a is equal to small e at that time we can use this emissity or the coefficient of emission then we have to see here the two laws as for the state the Wines displacement law uh, also state the Stephens Boltzmann law of radiation then first we have to see here the Wines displacement law what is the statement of that Wines displacement law it is observed that the wavelength for which the emissive power of the black body is maximum and which is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature of the black body this wavelength that is the maximum for which the emissive power of the black body which is inversely proportional to absolute temperature of the black body and therefore we can write here from this statement again we have to state here it is observed that the wavelength of the for which the emissive power of the black body is maximum which is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature of that black body and from this we can write this wavelength should be the maximum therefore we can write here lambda max is inversely proportional to that is the temperature absolute temperature proportionality sign remove therefore lambda max is equal to b upon t and where b is the constant and which is called as a Wien's displacement constant and also from this in numerical you can also use this formula the b is equal to lambda max into t or lambda max into t that is absolute temperature is equal to b and which is the uh, Wien's constant and the value of this b is uh, near about 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 and which indicates that the wavelength of the which black body is uh, dominantly radiates it is correspond to the the dominant the color of this radiating body and which is the functions of the the temperature and this law is useful for the determine the temperature of distant star sun moon etc so that this wines displacement law which is the very very important you simply remember that this lambda max is inversely proportional to t and lambda max is equal to b upon t or b is equal to lambda max into t sometime the numericals you can solve by using this formula the lambda max is equal to b upon t where b is a constant and which is given okay this is useful for this to determine the distance uh, temperature of the distant stars sun moon etc so that it is very important now last one is the stephens boltzmann law of radiation state the stephens boltzmann law of radiation then this law state that the radiant energy emitted per unit time per unit area of a perfectly black body is directly proportional to fourth power of its absolute temperature this term should be remembered fourth power of its absolute temperature in numerical also you have to remember this r is equal to sigma t fourth if you have to consider the energy radiated per unit area per unit time sigma t fourth and energy absorbed from the surroundings per unit time per unit area per unit time sigma t fourth then this formula sigma t fourth minus sigma t zero fourth or sigma into bracket t fourth minus t zero fourth you can use this formula for the net loss of energy by the perfectly black body per unit area per unit time is nothing but sigma into bracket t fourth minus t zero fourth where t zero is the surrounding temperature and t is the absolute temperature now again we have to state this stephens boltzmann law of radiation radiant energy emitted per unit time per unit surface area of a perfectly black body is directly proportional to fourth power of its absolute temperature where r is the radiant heat energy emitted per unit time per unit surface area and t is the absolute temperature but we have to write here directly proportional to fourth power of its absolute temperature so that 
r is directly proportional to t4 or r is equal to sigma into t4 where sigma is the uh, Stephens constant. Sigma, sigma is a constant called as a Stephens constant and which uh, value of this constant is near about 5.6 into 10 raised to minus 8 joule per meter square per second or also watt per meter square Kelvin raised to minus fourth and its dimensions of the sigma you have to remember this also L0 we cannot write here but remember this dimension of the sigma that is the Stephens constant L0 because length is not there L0 M1 T raised to minus 3 and due to temperature raised to fourth power T raised to minus K raised to minus 4 and T raised to minus 3 the dimension of the this Stephens constant sigma r L0 m1 t minus 3 k raised to minus 4. Thus, this power radiated by the perfectly black body, which it depends upon only its absolute temperature. And remember this not only depends upon any other characteristics such as the colors, materials, nature of the surfaces, etc. This is only depends upon this power radiated by the perfectly black body depends only on its temperature. You remember this and also another form the net loss of energy by the perfect black body per it area per it time. This form is also very important sigma t fourth minus sigma t zero force considering the surrounding temperature then sigma into bracket t fourth minus t zero fourth. This is also very important. Okay, we have to see here the very short point, some important terms, MSU power, emissivity, then uh, Wines displacement law is very also very important and Stephens Boltzmann law of radiation. You ask this one mass question, short questions. Uh, you can remember this. Okay, you have to understand better. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.